Okay. Solve applications of the logarithmic functions. Uh, definition. The slightest earth movement perceptible is called reference intensity I sub zero. With the intensity I of stronger earthquakes uh, expressed as a multiple of I sub zero. The Richter va value magnitude of an earthquake is simply based is simply the base 10 logarithm of the ratio I divided by I sub zero. The function form of the magnitude is, and they gave me the formula, so after that I don't care anymore, right? Unless I'm actually doing something in terms of, uh, uh, I'm in a, in a course where this becomes important. Or if you're actually in an earthquake, you probably would like to know how, what the magnitude of that earthquake was. And I was once in San Diego uh, in an earthquake and at the, one of the top floors of uh, Hilton on top of it all. It was, it was interesting. You know, in the middle of the night, I'm thinking, I didn't know this bed vibrated. Who put the quarter in the bed? In the old days, you used to be able to go to a motel and they had a little vibrating thing and put a quarter in. You know, to vibrate your, uh, you know, and I'm thinking, and I realized, oh my God, this is an earthquake and we're basically three floors from the top of the building. And then we realized the hotel we were in were, was built for earthquakes that if had we been outside the building, we would actually have seen the building rock with the quake. I don't think I wanted to do that, but just in case, I mean, uh, the friend I was with, I mean, her night case didn't even go off of the uh, uh, dresser it was on. Yet her son, he was paying for baseball for Point Loma at the time, that's why we went over. Uh, and um, he, his, you know, literally, he had things and, and furniture walking away from the wall and things were falling over and that kind of stuff. But the building we were in, it was like, oh, that was interesting. Don't want to go through that again. It just was, and some of the aftershocks, but the quake was north of us, was closer to, was out in the desert someplace, but, but we felt it. It says, on June 14th, 2012, the Oklahoma City area reported an earthquake of intensity 317 I sub zero. What was the magnitude of this earthquake? Well, magnitude is the M, so that says I want to find M of I, which is the log of I divided by I zero. So they gave me that I, I have, I have two variables. I have I and I sub zero. So they gave me I and it is 317 I sub zero. So I want M of 317 I sub zero, which is the log of 317 over, or I sub zero over I sub zero. So they say it's given to you in the form of I sub zero. So I sub zero is reduce out. This is the log of 317. The log of 317, since I've already worked this out, is 2.5. So the quake was magnitude 2.5. Not too bad. I still wouldn't want to be in an earthquake. I mean, it's just not particularly much fun. You talk about insecurity of having the ground beneath you. I was in one in Illinois too, Champaign, Urbana area, and uh, the stove started walking out from the wall. Now, I'd never been in an earthquake before, so I wasn't sure what it was. I blamed it on my husband. I was thinking, what was he doing outside now? What is the man doing now that the stove is now walking off the wall? And then I found out it was an earthquake, so he was sick. It says, find the intensity I of the earthquake given that M sub I is 7.1. So this says that the, essentially that M sub I, the log, base 10 of I over I sub zero is 7.1.
And this, now I rewrite, which is what you do quite often with logs, as an exponential. So this says that I divided by I sub zero is 7.1, 10 to the 7.1. Let me do this right. Or I equals 10 to the 7.1 I sub zero. Now that doesn't have any meaning to us. It would have a meaning to scientists, but not to us. 7.1 has meaning because we know that's a pretty hefty quake at 7.1. But 10 to the 7.1 times I sub zero means doesn't mean a heck of a lot. Except it's a problem to work in your book. for those of you uh, 